Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a Christmas house tour and I thought we would start in the bedroom. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes multiple times a week. So trust me, you don't want to miss out. Okay, I think I'll start with the left side of the room first. This is the tall mirror that we have and I just draped a garland over it and this garland is so pretty. I just kind of wrapped it around just so I didn't have to use any thumbtacks, but it's just like the perfect amount of greenery and it matches my wreaths really well. And all of these items, I think I mainly got them from Michaels last year from their Christmas sale. I'll link that video down below for you guys. And then right next to it is this little dresser. And so I have, you know, some beauty products, some perfume and cologne, and in the middle, I have this wreath that I put together holding some candles and I had this extra snowflake and I thought I'll just put it right there in the middle and just kind of have the candles hold it up, but it's just so pretty. The color theme for this room was pretty much uh, gold, silver, and green. So that is beautifully incorporated in this little wreath. I've seen these uh, types of candle holders from Bath & Body Works, I believe, and they're pretty expensive, but these are all items from the Dollar Tree. I believe I have a video of it uh, on how I made this, so if you guys are interested, I will link that video down below as well. Right next to it are these double French doors. I hung these two wreaths by using a clear acrylic wreath hanger, which I believe I got from Walmart. And the wreaths, like I said, are from Michaels. And they're so beautiful. I just love this champagne gold. It's not too yellow, not too silver. It's just perfect. And in case you haven't noticed, there's also a pine cone theme as well, which I did not intend, but everything seemed to have pine cones in them. So when we go over this way, I have included more pine cones in the decor. Some candles, these little mini candles, and then some beautiful flocked trees. And then on each side, I have some pine cones in a vase and some of them are, you know, silver, gold, and I also added some like Christmas picks. And then in the center tray, I just added some more pine cones. And in the back, I have this Merry Christmas sign, which also incorporates gold and silver. And I just think it's so pretty. I just love this color combination. And then right below here, we have some lanterns which also go with the theme. We have pine cones and gold, and I just have them elevated on some wood stands. And those are fake candles in there. And right next to those lanterns, we have my side table. And here I just keep my Christmas themed scents. I have vanilla bean Noel, the body spray and the body lotion. And then I have a tea tree and peppermint moisturizing body cream from their aromatherapy line, which I really like. This one is my favorite out of the two scents. And then here, of course, I have to have a Christmas candle inside of this festive candle holder. The candle, in case you're wondering, is called Better Not Pout. I'm not sure if they have this candle this year, but it smells like sugar cookies and it smells amazing. And then right next to it, I have this little gold, champagne gold snowflake, which looks a lot like the silver one I had on the dresser. And then this is just my water cup, which I leave by my bed, and it's gold, so of course it goes with the color theme. And sometimes I have my Mickey Mouse mug warmer on here, and it's just really nice to have a warm cup of tea and just sit in bed and read a book. Oh my gosh, I love it. And this is just absolutely amazing for keeping my warm drinks warm. It's a little dirty. I don't know, I've tried cleaning this so many times, but it won't come off. But I've seen this on Amazon, and I think Walgreens has it as well. I think that's where I got it from. Um, it also comes with a Mickey Mouse mug. So if you're looking for a quick little gift, it's a little gift idea. My husband's side is far more simple. It just has his water cup and another snowflake. Um, yes, he has been using my Starbucks cup. I'm just glad it goes with the color theme. And then we have our bed, which is just very simple bedding. Um, we just don't like all the froofy duvets and everything. It's just um, kind of a headache to take care of, so we like to keep it simple. And we just have some pretty pillows. It's like that dark forest green, and then just a pillow in the center. And then this really soft, 
fleecy blanket is what we use. And it's just really nice. It's lightweight, but it's really warm. And then at the foot of the bed, we have our little bench. And I just have some pillows and a cozy little blanket. And sometimes I like to sit here and read and just snuggle up. It's really nice and cozy. So that is the full bedroom tour. Let's move on to the rest of the house. Now we have arrived to the living room and I'm just showing you the before and after because our TV actually broke. Um, it was a Samsung frame TV and it happened to break as soon as the warranty was over. So instead of the TV, I had this little gift wrapped painting. I believe it was last year that I showed you a tutorial on that, but I had that in place of the TV, but we actually ended up getting another TV, so that is what you're seeing here. Okay, let's actually start at this wall over here. I didn't have anything going on on this wall, so I just decided to add some extra garland and a Merry Christmas sign. And I have that same garland on that wall as I'll show you in just a moment. But here I'm just showing you my little Mickey Mouse doorknob thing, uh, which I think I got from Dollar Tree a couple years ago. And we have the wall of windows with a bunch of little present uh, glitter cutouts and garland and my Mickey Mouse wreath that we made together a couple years ago. I'll link all of those videos down below. And I do have a Christmas playlist, so I will link that as well for you guys so you can check it out. As always, we are starting with some festive pillows. My favorite way to dress up a room is with pillow covers because they are so much easier to store. And all of these pillow covers I got from Amazon and they were quite affordable. And I have my little FAO shorts bear, which I got from New York with my Merry Christmas um, blanket on that side. And here I'm just showing you this little Merry Christmas um, light thing that I got from Walmart uh, last year, I believe, uh, because I know I'll forget to show you guys. But anyways, I have a blanket on either end of the couch and I have my coffee table with a Christmas candle and that is actually a cookie jar, the Christmas tree that you see there. And then I have Santa Claus, uh, my little Santa Claus mug with some candy canes in the shape of a heart and a little candle in that as well. And I absolutely love the view that I get from sitting on my couch. I have this beautiful fireplace and I have the nativity scene and the Christmas tree and I just I just wanted to show you guys like the point of view <laughs> that I get from sitting on my cozy little Christmas couch. So here is a close up of the nativity scene. I just put some pillow fluff around to make it look uh, a little snowy and I have some tea lights. Um, those are actually fake candles. Please don't put real candles in uh, with your pillow fluff. That's just, that's too dangerous. But anyways, um, I'm sure you guys know that, of course. But I just have that in front of the fireplace. And it's just so cozy looking. Oh my gosh, I clearly love fireplaces, as you can see. So on my fireplace, I have these new Christmas lights, which I recently hauled. They are Mickey Mouse Christmas lights, and they sing Merry Christmas, and they project Mickey Mouse's face on their singing. And I also have it wrapped um, in some garland. And then on either side, I have a vase with some poinsettias and some Christmas picks. And I also have some nutcrackers and this Santa Claus little uh, mailbox station <laughs> right there. And I filled my apothecary jars with some Christmas ornaments. And the middle one actually has some Ghirardelli peppermint bark, which I absolutely love during the Christmas season. And this is a new sign, a Merry Christmas sign that I got this year. I recently just hauled it um, in my last video and I'll link that video down below of course but those are individual blocks and they spell out Merry Christmas. And then on this side I have a little countdown for Christmas and I have another nutcracker and of course another vase. And for lighting I have some individual little candles as well as my wonderful 
fairy lights, my color changing fairy lights, which I have shown several times before. Um, you just use a little remote and you can choose whichever color you wish. And I love that. And on either side of the fireplace, I have my Mickey Mouse light up bushes, which I got from either Lowe's or Home Depot a couple years ago. And right next to those, I have these huge light bulb pillows, which I actually got from Walmart a couple of years ago as well. And on the screen, I typically always have some kind of Christmas ambiance video playing with some that one actually had Michael Buble songs Christmas songs which was just perfect for all the Christmas feels now for the main attraction we have the Christmas tree for this year and I absolutely love it I used to use a whole bunch of ornaments to decorate my Christmas trees, but in the recent years, I discovered the magic of Christmas picks. So this time I just use like a small amount of Christmas ornaments, just one package and uh, just a couple of Christmas picks. And I just absolutely love the look of it. And when decorating a Christmas tree, I never neglect the bottom of the Christmas tree. So I have my Christmas tree skirt, as well as these beautiful fake wrapped presents, which I recently hauled as well. And I always put my Christmas cards that I get for that year underneath the Christmas tree. Right on top of the main Christmas tree present decor, I have Iron Man and it looks like he's guarding the presents. And a Christmas tradition that I have with my husband is that every Christmas we spend together, we get a new fun little ornament of things that we love, whether it be a TV show or somewhere where we've traveled so that eventually we will have a whole Christmas tree filled with ornaments of all of the Christmases that we've spent together. And if you're wondering, that Gaston ornament is the ornament we got for this year. And here I'm just showing you some close-ups of these special ornaments. We have a Marine Corps one because my husband was in the Marine Corps. And we have the one where we went to New York. And um, we have Bob right here with his little teddy bear and I just love finding those special ornaments um, each time I look at the Christmas tree I notice a new one so um, I, I absolutely love that and here I'm just showing you my favorite pick it's very Whoville um, but I, I absolutely love it I love that one and the little elf legs that are sticking out I think that's so adorable and um, it just adds to like the whimsy of the Christmas tree. And right next to it is the window. Um, we just have a little Christmas tree decor and some wreaths and I added some festive garland all around it. And it's very, very pretty. I love that garland. I actually got it from Hobby Lobby and I had some extra bows and an extra wreath and I just added that on the windowsill. And looking down on all of the decorations is Minnie Mouse on the staircase. And I also wanted to show you the light fixture. I added some ornaments with some festive string um, just to add an, a little bit of extra Christmas flair. And then we have the table setting. For all of the chairs, I added some bows tied with ribbon just to make them look like little presents. The chairs at the end are a little bit different. I'll try to show you guys that in just a little bit. For the tablecloth, I used one of my Christmassy silvery tablecloths, which is very pretty. And I have my little placemats, which look like peppermint candies to me. And then I have some napkins folded as Christmas trees, which I have shown you in a previous video. So I'll make sure to check that out. And on either side of the tiered tray, I have these fun little dessert whipped topping looking things that I got from Home Goods this year. And here I am just showing you a close up of the tiered tray. I just have some really cute Christmas mugs and some picks and sticks spread throughout. My favorite part of this tiered tray is definitely the elf, or both, I should say elves. <laughs> Both of the elves, they're so cute. They look so mischievous, like they're trying to climb up on the tiered tray and I just absolutely love that. So here is the end chair. I just added an extra green ribbon at the bottom. I just happened to have two extra little tool ribbons and so I didn't know what to do with them. So I decided to add them to the chair. And here is the other side of the tiered tray. I have some more cute mugs, a little snowman, um, those gift 
picks um, I actually got from one big pick. I actually tore it apart <laughs> and created several mini picks. And then I have some Mickey Mouse ears there, of course, and some mini candles. And I have these little bells, which are actually from New York. And those bells are actually surrounding a little Mickey Mouse Christmas snow globe. And then right behind the dining table, we have this little table right here. I added some more of those Mickey Mouse Christmas lights that I had on the fireplace. And I also have some extra garland, um, some festive peppermint looking garland. And here, I'm just playing it for you guys so you can see. You just have to make sure that the faces are turned outwards because it only projects on one side of the light, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. On the bottom, I have a vase filled with extra poinsettias, and I have some extra Christmas bows just around it. And on top, starting from left to right, we have this little Christmas sleigh, and I have three of my little stuffed animals here, all Christmas themed, of course. And I have a little light leaning up against it, and of course I have my fairy light as well. And it is leading to this mini Christmas tree, this very vintage Christmas tree that I've had for so many years. And I have little presents and stuff surrounding it and it's super cute. And I have a little nutcracker guarding this little advent calendar that I got from Target a couple of years ago. And if you're wondering, each day contains a little scroll and on each little scroll I have written a little poem for my husband so that he can have uh, a little poem to read every single day counting down to Christmas. After we got our TV, I had to find another place for this present decor and um, this was the best that I could think of. It kind of hides the wire. Um, going behind the table, so that is why I kind of leaned it up against the wall here and It is right next to this Mickey Mouse Christmas lamppost, which I'm absolutely obsessed with I think I also got this at either Home Depot or Lowe's I believe they still have it available so I would definitely check either of those stores out and next to that I have my Mickey Mouse little rug I guess is what you call it and he's just peering out of the wreath I just wanted to show you guys a little close-up of the lamppost it actually has red and green colors like swirling about in there and it looks extra magical and I just added some extra Christmas garland on the staircase and on the other side I have this little mailbox which is so adorable. I got this last year during the Michaels after Christmas sale and it is so adorable and I actually keep my remotes in here for all the lighting <laughs> so um, I'm actually using it. It's actually very useful and I just I absolutely love it. It looks so so cute and I've always wanted a little mailbox like that for Christmas and then we have my light curtain as well as some Christmas garland and I also added a big red bow right on top and it just looks so pepperminty to me. I love it and from there I'll show you guys the island. I had an extra garland and I just hung it using some stocking hangers because I didn't want to drill any holes or use command strips or anything. I just thought this was a quick and easy way to do it and then on top I have these three little vases and they're filled with Christmas picks and some peppermint picks and they look super cute and I added some tea lights as well just to add some light to this area okay so I moved the big present right under here I wasn't sure if this looks better or where I had it originally let me know in the comments because I really don't know I'm always moving things around even on Christmas Day I'm adding things moving things around I'm just never quite finished decorating so um, I don't know we may see this in a, in a different spot. I'll show you guys if I do move it again. I'll show you um, on Instagram or on TikTok. So make sure you're following me on those platforms. But anyways, we have the Christmas cabinets right here. I added some bows and a big old bow right in the center as well. It kind of got a little smushed, but um, anyways, it looks very festive either way. And I actually added the ribbons and the bows on all of the cabinets so that everything matches. And I had some extra bows, so I added some to the light fixtures. And it looks so Christmassy and extra special. 
I of course had to whip out my Christmas linens. <laughs> so here I have my Christmas dish towels. Um, they are so beautiful. They have this foiled writing and it says let it snow and in the foil writing it says joy and then on the fridge i have this mrs claus and mr claus um, hand towel set which i can't remember where i got it from but these are so cute i believe i got both sets from home goods but the mrs claus is my favorite of course because of the little ruffle at the edge it looks so adorable I also switched out my hand soap for this winter hand soap by Bath & Body Works and it smells like a wintry man's cologne. It is divine. I absolutely love this scent. Next we have my little coffee slash hot cocoa bar and it is so cute this year. I absolutely love it. We have my Keurig with this beautiful iridescent red mug and I believe that's a Ray Dunn mug. Then I have a Christmas candle burning of course. This one is the hot cocoa and cream candle and it is pretty much done. It's completely done. <laughs> um, I have been obsessed with this candle, uh, especially for the kitchen. And then I have my popcorn bucket and also my Mickey Mouse snow globe sippy cup thing that I got recently. Um, again, I hauled those things uh, in my most recent video. And here we have my other tiered tray and I have some tea lights and I also have this little hot cocoa topper which I got from Walmart last year I believe. It was so cute I just couldn't use it so I used it again to this year as a little decor piece and I just love the little hot cocoa mug on top. It's just perfect for a tiered tray and the bottom of the tiered tray happened to be penguin themed I didn't even plan on it but I still think it's very cute and then on the top I have some more of these little mini mugs which are actually marshmallows I believe I got them from Amazon or home goods one of the two and I just have a little spoon sticking out of this one and some ornaments in each one just to fill them up a little bit and I have another hot cocoa mix in the back which says you make me melt or I melt for you or something like that. It's really cute. And in the back I have my new sign which I got from Hobby Lobby which I also recently hauled and it is the Milk and Cookie Co. North Pole sign. It is so cute and um, I didn't have a chance to hang it up with a command strip or anything so I just propped it up with this popcorn little container <laughs> but um, I think it's just so cute. Next time I really want to be able to prop it up and have it kind of take up a little bit more space so that you can see it more clear, but it's so cute and just adds to that extra festive feel. And here we have my Christmas wreath, which I absolutely am obsessed with. I love the colors and the sparkliness of it. I can't even remember how long ago I got this, but I, I don't know, I believe it was at least five years ago or something. It was from Walmart and this is exactly what I was looking for. And to the right, we have my Harry Potter themed office. It's actually supposed to be my husband's office, but I kind of, kind of took over. I do have another video showing in greater detail the office and all of the decor. So if you want to check that out, I will definitely link that video down below. I didn't change too much to the room since that last video except for some extra ornaments and of course this little Christmas tree right here. Uh, I just had my little white Christmas tree and I tried to incorporate the colors of each house as best as I could. I wish I had some blue ornaments so that I could represent Ravenclaw a little bit better but the best I could do was this silver uh, the silver ornaments so that just had to do I didn't really want to go out and buy more ornaments because I I know that I have way too many Christmas ornaments as it is maybe next year I'll just paint some of the ornaments I do have with some blue paint but I did try to make up for the lack of Ravenclaw representation by adding some blue candles um, all of these are little Christmas candles and they smell absolutely divine and I do have a candle holder that is blue as well and inside of course I have a Christmas candle in there I think it's called after the snow and it smells literally like winter I don't know how they do it but it does smell like how you would imagine 
for it to smell after it snows. I, I don't know what kind of sorcery this is, but anyways, it's one of my favorite candles. And then I have this table runner, which I actually put on the chair. And I actually like the look of it. It looks very regal, but at the same time, very wintry. And on this side, I just moved all of my um, coasters and my Hogwarts mug and wine glass, which you've seen in my previous videos. I had two of these extra little gold birds, and I decided to add one on each side. One for this bookshelf, and in a little while I'll show you the other one. They're a little too heavy, <laughs> but I have them hanging off of the creepy cloth. They look like they're having a hard time there but um anyways it just adds to the funny kooky festive look i guess <laughs> and up there you can see i just added some extra ornaments so that they look like they're floating along with the flying hogwarts letters and then the window was looking a little plain so i just added some random ornaments here and there and then i had one more extra garland and i just draped that right across and I just wanted to show you guys my newest addition to my Harry Potter collection. It is the Sorting Hat, and this guy actually talks. He's actually bilingual too. He actually speaks in French too, <laughs> and I actually got him from Amazon. And he actually moves and everything, and I just think it's the coolest thing. And for the decor, it didn't really change from Halloween. I just added some extra snowflakes and some ornaments just sprinkled throughout. And I absolutely forgot to add my Hogwarts stocking and my new Hogwarts ornament that I got from Universal Studios. I actually got both of them this year. And um, I just added a little picture just to show you guys. It's just hanging off of the printer. But um, yeah, I just added that last minute. And here we have the other bookshelf. I just added a little Christmas star on top. And I have all of my mini pop figures. Um... And then here's Harry, that is actually a little Christmas tree ornament, one of the first Christmas ornaments that we got. I think that is from the first year that we were married, actually, the Harry Potter ornament. And here we have another bird doing a nosedive. I don't know what's going on there, but um, yeah. So here are the bookshelves, and for lighting, again, I have those little um, battery operated candles as well as my fairy lights and then when you look up you can see the flying keys and the floating lights and it is so magical i just can't get over how beautiful this is i'm so glad i decided to do this this year these candles are actually battery operated and i have this little remote and it, the remote is kind of like my wand and it just it just adds to the whole magical feel of this amazing little room so here, I'll just give you guys a little walkthrough and a quick little 360 of the entire decoration and the entire great room. And then we will turn off the lights and I will show you guys the magic that appears when all the lights are turned off and it just looks extra cozy and festive. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I just want to wish you and your loved ones a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.